It's your favorite YouTube dealer. I appreciate you guys for stopping in. We have two songs left from Krishna's EP for the day ones. I'm happy that this man dropped. It's been a minute. I was actually thinking just like a week or two ago, I wonder if Krishna is going to be putting anything out. I wonder if he's working on anything. And maybe I manifested it. I'm going to I'm gonna take some credit for that. Hopefully. Not really. But still, this one is dope. It's called Stay Away. I'm interested in seeing what this one is all about. I don't know why I said it's dope. I haven't heard it yet. But it, I'm sure it's going to be dope is what I'm trying to get at. It's early in the morning. My words aren't really my best friend right now. The last one was dope. That's what I wanted to say. The relationship style track. I think that that was a vibe. And then the original one that we did, Shut Up, was absolutely fire. So I don't expect anything different from these last two. Let's get into this one. Let's see what this one's all about. I like that. I like that. Hold up. Hold up. I saw clouds gathering on my dreams. My trust on my own were broken. I don't have the time for the dramas. I walked alone. I'm with that. Like a lot of people that come into your life, unfortunately, bring drama. It doesn't mean don't have friends. It doesn't mean don't stay close with people. Obviously, find your circle that works for you. But do not allow people to come into your life and introduce drama and stress and all that kind of shit because it's just going to distract you from the overall goal. And, and it's just not worth it. I've, I, at least for me, I find that it's not worth it. <laughs> I like that. I like that. My girl left me. Hold up. I can't get it to go back to the right part. He says, my girl left me saying, I don't have any bike, car, or transport. And I can understand to an extent, right? Like, there's two ways of looking at it. Some people are going to be like, yo, that bitch is a gold digger. She wants you to have all these things. Why? Because she can't acquire them herself. So she expects you to be the moneymaker, to be making all this shit. Like, so some people are going to look at it that way. But at the same time, I also look at it like, you probably shouldn't try to get too deep into any relationship if you don't have your own shit together, right? And I guess having a car doesn't necessarily mean that you have your shit together. And that's not like one of the big signs of, yo, I've, I'm, I'm doing something, right? Because I have a car. But it's not that hard to get even a regularly cheap car that'll last you for a couple of years where you try to save, you know what I'm saying? So I, I get it from both sides, to be honest with you. I feel like a girl that's looking for you to have material possessions and, and stuff like that probably a gold digger but if she's just like yo i feel like you should at least have a car or at least have some way of transporting yourself and it's not like you should have a bmw right like i feel like there's levels to it does that make sense what i'm trying to say either way though if you are in a relationship with someone and you actually care about them and you like them you shouldn't suddenly leave because you're like they don't have a car right like work together to acquire these items then as well so it's like i don't yeah i don't know it's it's a weird situation because it just depends some people look at it certain ways some people look at it other ways i feel like if you're already together and they didn't have anything then then why leave because they didn't have you know what i'm saying like you already accepted them as they were so you guys should build to get that shit together now especially if they had some shit but they lost it and you leave because now they don't have that shit you definitely a gold digger you definitely a little bit goofy I got that BMW though. Sapna in Hindi also means dream, but it also is a common girl name. And bad Sapna here means a bad girl, also connecting to the bad dreams line. Oh, I used to get bad dreams. Am to the PM. Now the only bad Sapna that I have is in my DM. Ooh, I like that. Okay, all right. That's a dope name too. All right. The only bad Sapna that I have in my DM. मेरे आज ना ज़्यादा लोग साथ क्योंकि मेरे सागर में ना ज़्यादा लोग साथ मुझे करते नहीं थे कभी प्यार वो काज वही लोग बनना चाहते मेरे यार दोस्त आज I don't mean to keep pausing it. I know some people get, get frustrated sometimes, but I, I like a lot of the shit that he's saying. They never especially loved me. The same people want to be my friends now. Basically saying, you know, the, the, the line before was something about like, I don't have a huge circle now because I didn't have a huge circle when I struggled. So I'm not going to suddenly invite all these new people in, right? Because they never, they never really loved me. 
but the same people want to be my friends now. And that's the case. Whenever somebody gets attention, 100%, people just start coming out the woodwork. People that you, like, you barely even know anymore or you knew for a very short period of time probably never even supported you, but suddenly they're like, yo, remember that one time in school we skipped together and we did this or that? Or, and it's like, all right, cool. Like, where were you for the past decade? Now all of a sudden I'm popular and I got money and fame and shit. And now you reach out to me and say, yo, remember that time? Of course, because now you want to come and kick it and you want to try to become a part of something. And I don't completely blame those people, right? Because not everybody is going to reach a certain level in life. And so sometimes the person around you reaching that level is kind of your in, if that makes sense, right? Like it's kind of your... It doesn't mean you have to take advantage of them and utilize their money, but you might be able to get a job around them or you might be able to acquire some skills helping them in some way that you could then go on to acquire your own money and so on and so forth. So I get why people try to do that, but at the same time, it's just, it's kind of goofy, right? Like I don't, I, I, I'm not Krishna popular, right? But even myself, just growing some on YouTube, all of a sudden people that I hadn't talked to for years would DM me and be like, yo, da 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 da, I heard your music, yo, this shit's fire. Remember, we used to make music back in the day, this, that, and the, and it's like, I haven't talked to you in like five to 10 years. And now all of a sudden you're like, yo, your music's fire. It's like, motherfucker, I've been making, you know what I mean? Like, wh where were you before? Like, now all of a sudden you care. And this is on a small level because it's not like I was making any crazy money. I still haven't made crazy money from YouTube. But that aesthetic of like, oh, he's getting subscribers. So people immediately think, there's either money there or there's money coming soon in the future. So now I want to reconnect with that person. And that's where it gets goofy. So I couldn't even imagine the people that actually end up getting millions of dollars. The amount of people that come out of the, it's got to be crazy, especially even family, family that never talks to you, never reaches out to you. Then all of a sudden they're like, Hey, what's going on? <laughs> And then there's those people that say shit like that. Like, don't forget your status. You won't find any job by doing music. And, and at one point, that was the same for people that wanted to do game streams, for people that wanted to do YouTube. Nowadays, I feel like there are more and more parents that understand that there is actually money there and that there is a potential future there. And so they don't completely steer their kids away from it. But for quite a while, that shit was looked at as like almost taboo. Like, why are you wasting your time making YouTube videos? Why are you wasting your time trying to make music it just doesn't seem plausible sometimes that that person that you know that's right there in your life is going to be the star or this person that's making millions of dollars. And so you try to talk them out of it. And those are the people that probably look at celebrities and look at people that have made it as if this is like some kind of thing that is just impossible to reach for, for you know, for anybody. Because I guess like because they don't know any of those people from the day that they started to try to get to that point. They just know them as this celebrity. They just know them as a Beyonce, as a Jay-Z, as a, you know, whatever celebrity you want to think of. And honestly, you can make a lot of money musically or on YouTube to a point where you're not super famous or popular, but you have just a strong enough fan base that you're still able to generate income to pay your bills and do more. So that's the thing that I think is the, the, the misconception is that people think that you have to become this big household name to make a crazy amount of money, whereas... I've known many different artists music wise throughout the years that have made hundreds of thousands of dollars, if not millions of dollars. And the majority of people don't know their name, but they have that tight knit fan base that is more than enough to get them there. Because if you think about it, right, let's just say that you could acquire. Five thousand, let's say ten thousand, you could acquire ten thousand fans in total. That's it. Ten thousand fans. But you can somehow turn five thousand of them or so into people that will buy your album. And you sell your album for ten dollars. That's fifty thousand dollars right there. And if you let's say you put out two projects a year, you're making six figures now in that year. Now, obviously, it's not easy to do that, but it's just you don't need millions and millions and millions of fans. You just need a core group that is more than willing to help you get to what you're trying to do because you're giving them music that they enjoy and so they're willing to purchase it they're willing to buy merch they're willing to go to your shows they're willing to do all of these things 
And so it's like people don't realize that it doesn't take that many to be able to do something full time. Obviously, to make hundreds of millions of dollars, that's a different story. That's a whole other level. But you can live comfortably and even live above your normal means by doing something that you love if you just really give it a shot. But people just don't want to see it that way. They, they, they have a hard time seeing it that way. <laughs> Like the, the pattern of that is actually extremely dope. By the way, I apologize. I'm realizing now this video is like already 11 minutes long. I'm talking a lot. Listen, it's early in the morning. I just woke up. I'm in a, I'm in a conversational mood and he's saying a lot of shit that's worth talking about. <laughs> I like that hook. Is it ooh ah mere pas na tua ooh ah mere pas na tua? I'm probably pronouncing it horribly wrong, but it just got a nice vibe to it. It's catchy. <laughs> Ooh, Bart cooked another one. Yo, that was fire. All right. I ain't going to keep you guys for too much longer. I apologize. I got very conversational in this, but it's just Krishna is bringing up a lot of topics in these songs that I feel like hit home and, and are something that are more than worth talking about. And I'm always curious to see what you guys say down below in the comments. I look at these reactions as like conversation sometimes, right? Like I am enjoying the music, but there's also topics that may come up in certain songs that I want to give my opinion on or elaborate on and talk about some more. And then I like to look at the comments to see what your guys' opinion is. Like, do you guys agree with me? Do you disagree? Why do you disagree? Because maybe you guys are going to give me some different sides to it that I've not thought of myself. And I feel like that helps me grow as a person and learn and have more knowledge and understand just the world in general. You know what I'm saying? So I, I love these. And to me, I look at these as like, it's dope music that we get to listen to together. We get to enjoy at the same time, but also we get to have a conversation and I get to talk with people that are all over the country, all over the globe. I don't know why I said country, all over the world and have conversations and get your insight on different things. And I just, I just feel like that's to me, the coolest part about these reactions. So I appreciate you guys. We will be dropping the next, I don't know if this one will drop first and then the next one or if this will, but either way, we're going to finish out the EP. So I appreciate you and I will see you guys in the next one, homies.